We are covering Colorado First at 10. Denver teachers line up this Sunday to learn what to do when they strike first thing tomorrow. Students will likely see their teachers walking outside the door of their school when they arrive for class. Denver Public Schools Administration plans to deploy 1,500 substitute teachers along with 1,400 staff. But the superintendent warned us tomorrow will not look like a typical school day. Our Sean Chitness is live tonight, and Sean, teachers say they're ready. Yeah, Kathy, a mix of emotions. Teachers telling us that they are certainly anxious to start this strike in the morning, but also that they are motivated to hit the picket line because they believe this is what they need to do to finally reach a deal. Now, this will all begin right here at South High School with a news conference led by the union and then the actual starting of the strike with those teachers on the picket line the first time in the Denver School District in 25 years. Today has been a very emotional day getting ready for the strike. Teachers met one last time to prepare for Monday morning, getting supplies and going over the schedule for the first day of the strike. We are making sure that plans are in place to ensure that our picket lines are as safe as possible. Earlier in the day, Denver Public Schools came back to the table without the other side. Leaders saying they want to keep negotiating. But the Denver Classroom Teachers Association won't return until Tuesday. I think it's incredibly disappointing. The district says buses will run as usual and they will be able to provide all meals to students even if they can't provide a place for those students to stay during the day, like early childhood education classes. But DPS has said it won't be a normal day of school. We have kids who are showing up in school tomorrow on us. They're depending on us for their education. They're depending on us for strong, nurturing relationships. And a strike is going to interrupt all of that. On the eve of the strike beginning, both sides remain stuck in their position about an agreement. In their actions, um, we've seen very, very little movement. This is not something that, that teachers should have to do for their students. So here's how Monday is shaping out to look like. Again, the beginning of the day with this news conference led by the union right here at South High School. Then we'll see teachers actually picketing between 7 and 9 at this school and other locations. We know the district is planning to speak and make themselves available to react later in the morning. And then the teachers will hold their own rally on the steps of the state capitol in the afternoon. And for now, it looks like both sides may return to the negotiating table on Tuesday. Live tonight in Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First.